Okay, we're gonna find um, an approximation of the area under the curve f of x equals x squared on the interval two to five uh, using six rectangles. And um, we're gonna use the right endpoints of the subintervals. Uh, so we're gonna find the uh, right Riemann sum uh, using uh, six rectangles. And I'm gonna show you a fast way to do this uh, in the Inspire calculator. So if we're gonna use uh, six rectangles, then we need to know how long each rectangle is. Uh, you could do this in your head with this particular example, but uh, this one's not so bad. Five minus two, that's the width of the interval. And we're gonna divide that into six pieces. So every piece is gonna have width one half. So if we were going to use the left endpoints, then the endpoints would be two, we'd start with two, and then 2.5, and three, and so on. However, since I said we're gonna use the right endpoints, we're gonna start with 2.5, and then three, and then 3.5, and so on, until we get to uh, the right endpoint, which is five. Now, if we wanted to, we could use the midpoints uh, of the subintervals as well. Um, so since the first interval would be from two to 2.5, left end point is two, the right end point is 2.5, the midpoint would be 2.25. Uh, we could do any of those. So we're gonna use the right end points. Um, the easiest way to, that I know to do this in the Inspire is to add a page to this document. So press Control Doc, and the type of page that we want is uh, a list or a spreadsheet. So, we're going to use the right endpoint, so I'm going to call this column rights, and our first right endpoint, as I said, was 2.5, then 3, then 3.5, 4, 4.5, and we stop when we get to the last right endpoint, which is 5. So those are all of the right endpoints. Now, for the height of the rectangles, we need to evaluate our function at uh, at the right endpoints. So I never defined the function on this page, so I'll go back and define it. The line at the very top is just some text uh, so we'd know what the problem was. So we have f of x equals x squared. Now, doing this one at a time would take a while. However, this cell, the one uh, to the right of the equal sign, will let us propagate an entire column at once. You start with equals, and that tells the, the spreadsheet that you want to do some sort of calculation in this column. And we're going to apply the function f to, you could write column A as long as you're within the spreadsheet, capital A means column A. Uh, if you work with, um, if you want to work with that column outside of the spreadsheet, you have to use the name. I called it rights. So there's, um, the function value at all of the right endpoints. So now I want the area of each rectangle and the area of the rectangle is the height of the rectangle which I have stored in the column named heights and I have to multiply by the width. Well we calculated that on the first page the width of each rectangle was 0 0.5. Go over just a second. That was this calculation. Uh, five minus two over six was a half. That's the, um, uh, that's the width of each subinterval. And you can see down at the bottom, we have the height times the width, 0 0.5. So all, all, of our, um, all of our areas, the areas of all the rectangles are stored in this column named areas. So if I want the Riemann sum, I just need to add all of these numbers up. It's actually faster to type the word sum. The, the sum command is buried in a menu. It's more than three key presses. So just type the word sum at the bottom. And I want to sum the column that I called areas. So the area of all those rectangles put together is 44.375. So dealing with Riemann sums by hand or with a really basic calculator can be very time consuming. This is much faster with an Inspire. Hope that helped.